Let's talk about our democracy for a minute. <laughs> but let's do it in a way that makes the snowflakes' heads explode. Let me be clear before this podcast begins. We are loud, loud proud, proud, and do not give a fuck. This is the Tony Michaels Podcast. Real and raw political and social commentary. The freedom to oppress the rights of other people is not liberty, you shit-eating moron. Ah, the smell of freedom of speech. This is the Tony Michaels Podcast, and this is Tony Michaels. Hey, Tony, fuck em. Happy Monday morning. It's a new week. Good morning, Kathy. Good morning, Debbie. Margie. Mike from Facebook. Jay. Patty. Bruce from Facebook. Forrest is here from Facebook. Well, so we start today's show with the uh, (laughs) um, tanning testicles. Testicular tanning is trending today on Twitter. Because Tucker Carlson uh, feels like to be manly, to be manly, he must French fry his balls. Is it really that surprising that these anti-masker, alpha cuck Tucker types are French frying their nutsacks? Is this really that surprising? I mean, I don't, I don't know that we should be surprised by this. I'm a man. I don't have to wear a mask, but I gotta. I got I to gotta tan my balls. <laughs> I'm not saying that ball tanning isn't all that bad. I mean, you know, maybe if you're trying to uh, attract some of the men that uh, Tucker had in his, uh, his little montage, you know, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I could see how someone could be attracted to a, a freshly tanned set of gonads. <laughs> I don't know, I guess I should just have a fucking list. A list of words. Synonyms that you can use. Sack synonyms. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is this is the stupid shit that we have to talk about. And we're going to talk about it. Because really, honestly, this Tucker, uh, Tucker Carlson documentary on how men are fading away and men aren't manly anymore and all this fucking stupid shit. It's all anti-gay tropes to be frank with you. And they're trying to make it to where non-experts are fucking experts. This fucking... He's trying to out Joe Rogan Joe Rogan here with this stupid fucking documentary about how men aren't manly or some shit. Testosterone levels are low! Well, there's a lot of explanations for that. (laughs) Oh, fuck. So we're going to talk about tanning your nutsack today for crying out loud. Also, we have news that um, Alex Jones and InfoWars are faking being broke. I'm going to explain why that's important. And why I think the Sandy Hook parents really don't give a fuck if they receive one dime from that pile of shit. It's not about the money to them, I don't think. I don't think there's any amount of money that would replace their children. Or the fucking dignity that they so well deserve. That they were stripped from with InfoWars and their defamation. So we're going to talk about Alex Jones filing for bankruptcy. So that he tries to skate on paying his debt that he owes to the Sandy Hook parents. Thank you, MJ. Thank you, MJ, for the for the super chat. She's here. Good Monday morning, everyone. Um, Lisa's here. Margie's here. Beth is here. Susan's here. Everyone's here this morning. Paul, Regina, Carrie. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You guys know that we broadcast live every single weekday, Monday through Friday. Noon Eastern, 11 Central, 9 Pacific, right here on YouTube, Twitter, Twitch. So go follow us and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Do not forget to do that. That is super, super important because then you can participate in the super chat. Do, 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 like MJ did. On 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 the tubes of you, you can participate in the super chat. We also broadcast now live 
every single weekday from Midas Touch Facebook page. Thank you for all you folks out there that are joining us from the metaverse. That is Facebook. <laughs> um, and if you want, you can go download the episodes. Download on Apple, Spotify, Google, even Spotify, even the even the best boycotted directory. So go check us out there. Please give us a five-star review. That would help us out. And again, go to the YouTube page. We're going to cut some clips. We're going to we're going to make some fun of these people so you don't want to miss a thing. You do not want to miss a thing. I had someone comment the other day. They said you broadcast during Hal Spark show. I think I have some sparklers that come that come and uh, listen to the show here. And they said we broadcast during the same time that Hal does. I don't know that we overlap too much with Hal, but here's the good news is Hal is recorded, I'm recorded. So you can, you know, flip back and forth or you can Listen to us either way. I like Hal. I was on um, Stuttering John's podcast, and me and Hal had a conversation the other day. Uh, it was the day that Gilbert Godfrey had passed away, that they announced that he passed away. So we, 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 me and Hal got to talk on uh, Stuttering John's podcast. You guys go check that out. You, if you go to the YouTube channel and go on down to the playlist, there's a playlist. Where you can actually see all the appearances that I've made. I've been on Stuttering John a few times and a few other podcasts. The Bad Brad Berkwit Show. Uh, the Dig on America podcast. A few other. You can go check those out. Also, Gabe's got a few appearances down there as well. Uh, Anita and Lacey says they're sparklers. Kelly says she's a sparkler. Welcome, sparklers. You are welcome here at the Tony Michaels Podcast. Broadcasting every single weekday, noon Eastern, 11 Central, 9 Pacific. On YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch. And now on the Midas Touch Facebook page. As well, we simulcast and it's free, baby. All this is free. Free for your viewing pleasure. And listening pleasure if you go download it on Apple or Spotify. Oh boy, what a weekend. A lot of film from this weekend. A lot of film. A lot of vidya. A lot of vidya from this weekend. From Tucker Carlson's um, ball tanning documentary. Also, um, there's an airplane ride that <laughs> broke out in uh, uh, Jesus guitar. I don't know. I think um, Jesus would have smashed that guy's guitar. He'd have been singing in his face. You got to see this video. Um, let's see. What else? What else? What other videos were uh, trending this weekend? There's, there's a lot of stuff. That came from this weekend. Uh, let's see. I got. I got. The, what, what do we got on the the agenda today? Let's see. We got that. The, uh, oh, Elizabeth Warren wants to investigate Jared Kushner. That's a good one. Uh, Mexican pizza is trending. I'm not sure why. I don't know why Mexican pizza is trending, but it sounds like a hell of a trending topic to me. So we might get into that when we go surf the Tweety tweets and the trendy trends today. You know that's what we do on the show for all the new listeners out there. We do a thing called the Shitlist Roundup, where we round up all the Tweety Tweets and the Trendy Trends of the day. And today, it looks like we may go through testicle tanning and Mexican pizza. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't make this shit up. I just get up in the morning. I see what's trending. I put it on there, and then I go through, right? I have no idea why Mexican pizza is trending, but we're going we're gonna to talk about it. Uh, Common Core is trending. Uh, as a German, it seems like... Uh, and the right wingers are <laughs> are a little butt hurt that someone got as a German trending. Uh, but but the main news today is that it's tax day. It's it's tax day. It's testy day, and it's Alex Jones is pretending to be broke day. So let's go ahead and get into the tw trendy trends and the Tweety tweets. Uh, let's get let's get into that. So let's let's go to let's go to the timeline. I wanna I wanna see the timeline. Uh, it looks like I, where's my where is my trendy trends and tweety tweets video? Someone took it off here. I don't have it. I don't have it. I'm really sorry. I wish I had. I wish I had it. Okay, let's <laughs> let's see. Uh, do, do, do. Um, of course, you know that Alex Jones is pretending to be broke. But the main thing is, is also Republicans out there, not only are they, oh, well, we're in the wrong one. Here we go. This is a better one. 
There we go. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Let's make this a little bigger so you can see the Tweety Tweets. Um, uh, Joe says, it's my kind of... Uh, I'm kind of surprised Republicans are banning math textbooks. I thought division was their thing. <laughs> so you heard this. You heard this. This is also news that the Republicans in Florida are trying to ban CRT from math books. What in the actual fuck? They're tr- I'm serious. Dead fucking serious. They're trying to sexualize your children's gender. They want to marry them. And now, and now they want to racialize math. Well, two plus two isn't four. Two plus two is the race card. What the fuck are they talking about? Jesus Christ, they're trying to ban to kill a mockingbird. And they're trying to ban long division. What in the fuck are they doing? How in the fuck is it that we think we can't beat these motherfuckers? Democrats everywhere should be yelling and screaming the messaging into the microphone. Everywhere. I don't care if you're you're a candidate, if you're working for a candidate, if you're knocking doors, if you're filling out postcards. This is easy messaging, folks. Like, these fucking boneheads are going to be so easy to beat. Why do we have to fucking work so goddamn hard to get people to understand the messaging? Why? Why? And everyone wants to blame it on Democrats on the Hill. It's not just Democrats on the Hill. There are people out there yelling and screaming about Medicare for all and and, and canceling student debt. Listen, if you let the motherfuckers that are trying to make your math books into critical race theory, you're not going to cancel any student debt. You'll be lucky that there will be a college to even go to. Got it? They don't even want you to have a college to go to. Think about it. Think about it. We got the messaging right here in our it right here at our fingertips. In Tennessee, they're trying to they're trying to marry children all over the country. They're stripping women's liberty away from getting a medical making medical decisions and getting a medical procedure, making it a felony. I mean, the intention is to destroy Roe v. Wade. And all the while, while they destroy Roe v. Wade, they strip your liberty away from you. Your choice over your body. They want it, not you. They want to take your consent away. They want to take your freedom away. They want to take your rights away. They want to take your liberty away. They keep sexualizing your children's gender. It's fucking, it's fucking weird that they're absolutely obsessed with genitals. They're fucking obsessed. Even Tucker Carlson is doing a documentary on how he's going to fucking tan his testes so he can be a man. They're fucking obsessed with testicles and genitalia. Closeted motherfuckers. They are. It has to be. It has to be. They're so obsessed with dicks and balls. They are obsessed with it. They can't stand it. They want to take your consent away from you with your children. Doubt me. In state after state after state, they're taking they're taking parent, parental consent away from just a few trans athletes in schools. Children, trans children who want to be athletes, they're taking their parents' consent away from them. You don't and they want to marry children. You don't think that's the next consent step? We have it all at our fingertips here, folks. It's really easy. The messaging is really easy. And we don't need to run against each other. Democrats don't have to run against Democrats. It's not a thing that we have to do. Even in the primaries. Why can't we understand how this fucking works? There's two things in this country. Two. There's politics and there's government. You want to govern? You got to do the politics thing. You got to win elections. And let me tell you something, folks. I hate to I hate to be the fucking buzzkill here, but no one's going to go crawl over hot lava and vote at the polls because some people want to cancel their student debt. Not going to happen. It's not going to happen. You can talk and yap all fucking day you want and try to convince me it's not going to happen. You're not going to mobilize the entire country because some people want to cancel student debt. It's not a thing. 
I want to cancel student debt. I don't think we should have student debt. I don't think we should. I don't think people should have to. I don't. I really think we should have a, a, a higher education system past high school that is publicly funded. Full stop. But you weren't going to have that from the people who want to ban math books because of CRT. The messaging is there. We don't have to fucking run against each other. And I mean, what I mean is pro-democracy people. Pro-democracy people do not have to stand and fight how much student debt they want to cancel and when they want to do it and how they want to do it. Fuck that shit. We do not have to run against each other. We do not. All you have to do, all you have to do is go di- go fight them on the hill they want to die on. They want to die on taking people's liberty away in this country. And do it by being weirdly obsessed with children's gender, people's sexuality, and who they love. They're fucking weirdos. You want the people who are sexualizing your gender and talking about tanning testicles in charge of your gas prices? You want people who are trying to marry your children in Tennessee in charge of our supply chains? Like Greg Abbott is in, is in charge of the supply chain in Texas? He can't pluck his head out of his ass long enough to understand that he has now cost the state of Texas not just the money that it took to stop up the supply chain, but now the amount of money that it takes to get the supply chain back. Doubt me. Let's let's go look at a video here. I'm going to show you a report from Texas. This isn't difficult. I know you want to talk about testes and Alex Jones, but you're going to have to blame Greg Abbott for this. Chris had this posted. It's a video. Uh, from a report from from Texas. Let's watch it real quick. Brothers Produce is racing to fill orders. We sell hundreds of thousands of cases every week. As Texans brace for impact. A lot of times we buy things in Mexico because it's good quality, it's convenient, it's fast. We can get things overnight. Time is of the essence when it comes to fresh produce. We try to turn our inventory every two to three days. I mean, we're selling a dying product that the second it's picked, we need it within three, four days because we got to get that to the consumers. And these products are going to cost the farmers a lot of money, truckers a lot of labor, and ultimately a lot of food waste is going to come out of this. Brothers Produce delivers to retirement homes, stadiums, schools, grocery stores, and restaurants. And This is private business, by the way. This isn't some kind of socialist, commie, radical, government-owned company. This is private fucking industry. And Greg Abbott is pissing them the fuck off off you talk about supply chain and and oh empty shells biden bullshit bullshit the biden administration worked their balls off i don't know if they're tanned balls or not i don't know if they're testiculars or spray tanned but they worked their asses off to get the supply chains fixed after Trump and the Trump administration destroyed our economy and our supply chains with the pandemic and their trade policies. And here you have an easy solution for this private industry. Private industry, produce in Texas. And Greg Abbott says, nope, for the, for the, sake, for the sake of a manufactured crisis, for the sake of a manufactured crisis, We're going to stop up the produce supply chains so we have empty shelves in the grocery stores. Well, how fucking, how fucking superb of him. Now, it's all about us. It's up to us to message this, to get this word out that the reason why your fucking shelves are empty, you don't have strawberries, is because that fascist down in Texas, Greg Abbott, is stopping them at the border and spoiling your strawberries that you want to eat. Because he wants to manufacture a crisis to scare you about Mexicans. Doubt me. Oh, it's a crisis at the border. Border, 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 border. They can't stop talking about the border. And what they should be doing is making sure that that produce gets back into our country so we can sell it. 
so these private companies can make all that profit. It's really fucking ridiculous that we can't figure out this messaging. Folks, it's really simple. It's really simple. Beto gets it. Beto gets it. How do you, why do you think Greg Abbott rescinded his policy about the trucks on the border? He rescinded his policy because Beto O'Rourke was handing him his ass on social media and pointing out that he was trying, that Greg Abbott was intentionally emptying shelves in grocery stores. And Greg Abbott did not want Texans to know that because Greg Abbott probably will have to run against Beto and the general. Here you go. Here's Sarah Burris. Thanks, Greg Abbott. See, she gets it. Sarah gets it. That's how you do this. We need to have a sticker for the strawberries and blueberries and blackberries and the produce. For the empty shelves at the grocery store. Empty shelves? Greg Abbott did that. Let's see. Now we're 21 minutes into the hour. I think I think someone's going to be joining us at the bottom of the hour to uh, talk about um, <laughs> to talk about uh, testicular tanning, the science behind it, and whether it's fucking relevant or not. Uh, Cynthia, thank you very much for the super sticker. We appreciate it a lot. Thank you for the support. Um, you know, it's Easter weekend. There's a couple things I want to show before we get the uh, the testicular tanning expert on. Um, here's a video from a parade. Uh, Fifty Shades Away had posted this. Look at this. What the fuck? This is literally a parade, and they're nailing they're nailing Jesus to the cross here. And then they're crying and yelling and screaming. Oh my god! Happy Easter! <laughs> oh fuck these yeah these people. I tell you what. You just can't make this shit up, can you? You just can't make this shit up. I'm going to show you another video here. Uh, apparently, um, people are freaking out about this video. Here it is. I said, oh, my Jesus. Now, this thing's got 33 million views. 33 million views this video has. <laughs> oh, my God. So, I guess, I guess they get on a fucking plane. And, you know, you're kind of trapped in the air with a bunch of people when you're on a fucking plane. You're 30,000 feet in the air. I mean, there's not a lot of things that might be worth jumping out of a plane without a parachute. This might be one of them. This, this what you're about to see, might be on the list of things that you would jump out of an airplane without a parachute for. Right here. Uh, the, the, <laughs> the caption says, Worshipping Jesus 30,000 feet in the air. Now, what I want you to pay attention to... If you can see, if you can see my mouse here, see this guy right, right down here. See this right here. Um, for uh, he's he's in he's in the uh, he's in the he's in the plaid shirt here. Watch his face, cause this guy's playing the guitar, like right in his face. Let's see. <laughs> you see his face? He's not happy at all. Like this guy here in the middle. With the plaid shirt on. He is not happy that this guy is playing this fucking guitar right in his face. Oh my god. And this person pans over to the window like, Oh, I wish I could just jump out this window. I wish I could just jump out this window. It really is kind of fucking weird that they would um, decide that it was a good idea to entertain everybody against their will on a fucking plane to spread the spread the love of Jesus I guess oh my god these fucking Christians don't get it you know you you can have your Christianity right you have your right to be Christian and love songs and all kinds of shit right you can sing along you can strum the guitar and Sing your lovely Easter Christian songs all you want. It's your freedom. Listen, listen, no one wants to be subjected. No one, no one wants to be handcuffed on a plane and listen to you sing your fucking shit. They don't. They don't. I mean, 
Omar is trending. Representative Omar is trending this morning because basically, let's let's go to there. Let me show you why she's trending. Or what she said, because this is relevant here. Uh, she's she seen the here's the New York Daily News. She saw all the video of the Christians singing on the plane. She then asked the questions on social media. What would happen if Muslims did the same thing? Right? What would happen? What the fuck would happen if Muslims stood up and started singing or praying on a plane? People would freak the fuck out. That guy that was in the plaid shirt that was annoyed because he wanted to smash the guitar over the guy's head. Let's face it. The guy in the plaid shirt that's annoyed as fuck, he wanted to grab that guitar from that guy and just smash it over his head. That was the look on his face. The I want to smash this guitar's on this guy's head. That, That was the look. But she's right. What would happen if Muslims would do this? What would the video entail? Hmm? Uh, Turd in the toilet says, Christians on a plane. (laughs) I'm tired of these motherfucking Christians on this motherfucking plane. I don't know. I guess that's what you're looking for, turd. (laughs) Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's go to the Tweety Tweets and Trendy Trends. Now, we're going to have our uh, our local testicular t- uh, tanning expert um, here soon, I'm sure. Uh, today is tax day. Individual income tax returns are due to be submitted by the federal government. Today's government day. Today's oppression day. Today's the day that rich people pay taxes. Mm, and they're fucking pissed off about it. You know, uh, I, I don't know if, if, you know, people know this. But if you got a tax problem, like really a, a really heavy tax problem, like you owe a shitload of money in taxes, that's that's actually like, you know, I don't know. Let's say you made seven hundred and fifty, eight hundred thousand dollars in a year. And you have you owe a shitload of taxes. And you're like, God damn it, taking off my fucking money. Well, l- listen, listen. The tax problem isn't your problem. You got a budget problem, dumb fuck. You got a you got a budget problem. Is probably what you got. Not a not a tax issue. It's a budget problem. Whoosh. Snakes on a plane too. Crystal says. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe they make a movie. Christians on a plane to spoof snakes on. Can you spoof snakes on a plane? I don't know. I I bet you. I bet we could get uh, Samuel L. Jackson to do Christians on a plane. Almost bet. Almost bet we could do. Get uh, Samuel L. Jackson to do Christians on a Plane. Do, do, do. Okay, let's go see why Mexican pizza is trending. I'm not sure why. I just seen that it's trending, and I'm like, oh, we're going to put that on the list. We're going to... Um, let's see. What is this? We brought Mexican pizza back? What is this? Doja Cat? Is this it? When, where is this? Is this Coachella? Yeah, it looks like it. We finally did it. The Mexican pe- pizza is coming back. 519 Taco Bell. Oh, Jesus Christ. Did Taco Bell did Taco Bell get product placement on the stage at Coachella? Is that the fucking thing here? Is that what's going on? What in the actual... Fu- Let's listen. I brought back the Mexican pizza, by the way! She brought back the Mexican pizza, by the way. No fucking way. Is that really? Is that what this is? <laughs> oh, Taco Bell, you shiesty sons of bitches. What the fuck? Oh, my God. Oh, they got they got product placement on the stage at Coachella. That's what this is, right? That's got to be what this is. I think that's what this is. Uh, it looks like Taco Bell got her to say on stage that she's bringing that she brought the Mexican pizza back at Coachella. Yes, that's what's happening here. Oh Jesus fucking Christ! We're screwed, folks. We are absolutely fucking screwed. We are screwed. I'm just saying, fucking Mexican pizza's trending because Taco Bell. Got a got a product placement on Coachella stage. Everyone's freaking out that Alex Jones is using Chapter Eleven to hide his fucking assets. 
And we got Christians on a plane. And we got fucking Florida Republicans, these Republican kid diddlers, these pedocons in Florida, trying to ban math textbooks. What in the actual fuck? Oh, for fuck's sake. It's going to hell in a handbasket on this Monday. <laughs> oh, quick and fast and in a hurry. Let's get to the Alex Jones thing. Uh, Rolling Stone has this article, InfoWars files for bankruptcy as Sandy Hook lawsuits bleed Alex Jones dry. Uh, a lot of people are like, oh, he's just trying to hide his assets. Whatever. He's trying to pretend to be broke, which that's literally what he's doing to the court. So what he's telling the court is that I have a debtor and the debtor has a judgment against me in the court. And I can't pay that debt. Now, judge and bankruptcy court, I do have, I do have on one hand, I do have a profitable business model that I could structure the payments of that debt. And that's really what they're doing with chapter 11. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Um, let me see. I think we have, um, I think we have someone here. I think our, I think our te testicular expert is joining us. Um, let's see. Um, howdy, sir. Hey, what's going on? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> looks like you got a, a red info, red light going on there or something. Yeah. You know, just gotta keep the old T levels high. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the T levels. It's just the. It, I, I I'm guessing you're uh, tanning your testiculars. Is that what you're? Is that what you're <laughs> what doing? Am I not tanning your testes? So do you constantly tan your testes? Listen, uh, every waking minute of my day is taken up by maximizing the amount of testosterone I can put into my body. Oh, okay. So, I am an alpha male. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to make sure that I am always an yeah. alpha male. Yeah. It's so. It, <laughs> You look, you look really alpha this morning, um, with the uh, red light shining up on your face. I, look, I it's, take... not a, it's okay, you know. I understand that some betas wouldn't really get it, uh -huh, but right, uh, right. when you're at my level of alpha, right. my my level of testosterone, <laughs> my level of manliness. You know, I what I understood about the because I'm I'm guessing that you're you're taking you're heeding the advice of Tucker Carlson's documentary on. Uh, on uh, uh, sunning your ball sack. Is it, is that what I take? Is it, is that the take I'm getting here? I mean, you know, it's, it's more or less uh, the advice that I gave him. You know, oh, I'm, so I'm gonna... you, so you were, you were providing the expert advice on, um, yes. on how the balls. We're, we're doing some, we're doing some really innovative revolutionary things that are happening on, uh, on red light. Uh, oh, okay. Therapy. I see. So tell me about, tell me about, um, red lighting your gonads how this makes you more of a man i'm not sure how this works well you know i see a lot of betas uh you know up late mm. gaming away uh, you know point dexter is really uh staying right. up late using that blue light and what does the blue light do the blue light really brings down your testosterone levels okay really you know the b in blue really stands for beta okay oh i see what so it's like a democrat doing... so the blue light the blue light is like a uh -huh. It's like uh -huh. a Democrat yeah. thing. The red yeah. light is like a red pill, uh, right wing type thing. You I'm know, not like a... saying that you get woke from using red light, but you get pretty woke. And oh, by okay. woke, I mean you wake up to the reality right. that's around you. All right. What What is the reality about your gonads that you have to red light them? I mean, uh, it, it's really just waking up to the God given Greek Roman, just muscular man that we were meant to be. Okay. You know, just wrestling. Skin to skin, man to man, bro to bro, you know? Okay, so so what you're saying is is that that you get naked and you tan your sack and then you wrestle each other once your sacks are tan? I mean, essentially, yeah. Oh, okay, that sounds uh, very manly. It I, is. I, right. Have you yeah. ever wrestled with a man? Bare um, skin? Not, not, not after I've tanned my sack. No, I am. Well, um, you know, now I, I, I have a really a beta. Well, that could be. So let, let me ask you. Let me ask you, Alpha Cuck, uh, Doctor Alpha Cuck here. Let me ask you if if you tan your sack because I'm really confused by this mm -hmm. because um, if if your goal is to be more manly, right? To uh, yep. I don't know, spread your seed throughout the earth. Wouldn't I mean, that's wouldn't how God a very well. Wouldn't microwaving your 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 gonads uh, reduce your sperm count? Or how does this work? 
Look, I don't expect uh, a non uh, mm -hmm. medical professional to understand the sciences right. behind this technology because yeah. it's pretty advanced. I'm sure okay? it is. I'm sure it is. But look, 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 look. What I will say is using red light therapy <laughs> has an immense amount of benefits to it. OK, you know, mm -hmm. you're treating any skin conditions, any rashes you may have, you know, don't want to get a shot of some sort. It's natural immunity that goes into your body straight to the mitochondria, straight into the cell. Now, when it comes to your privates, you know, as you put it, your your gonads. Yeah, it's a direct mm -hmm. shot of testosterone. It's like if you put 17 shots of testosterone, like you went you went in and you wanted to get, you know, added testosterone because you were you were low in levels. This is all natural. No jab, straight to the balls. Yeah, it's, it's really not surprising that uh, anti-jab, uh, anti-masker types like you are uh, microwaving their, their nut sacks. It's not really surprising that they're French frying their balls. Um, so so let's, <laughs> let's talk about the, uh, the, the other, the kind of this, the sausage in the room. Because to me, when you're um, tanning your, your sack, mm -hmm. as it were, yeah, you would almost, I mean, it's, well, it's not tanning; yeah. it's therapizing. Okay, Ther what is it? What do you call it? Therapizing, therapizing your testicles. Is yes, it? it's so it's like a testy. It's therapy. Yeah, mm -hmm. testicular therapy. So it's yeah, almost like a test, a, a testy festy for yeah. Is that it? A testy you know, festy again, kind of. It, it's clear that a beta like yourself wouldn't mm -hmm. really understand the nuances of uh, testicular tanning. I'm you just know? I'm just trying to make sure it's hip, you know. Maybe you should get like a strobe light that kind of, you know, strobes as opposed to just uh, one red light. That, that seems kinda... like it'd be pretty unsafe for people who have, uh, yeah, uh, any sort of uh, light sensitivity. You know. Oh, okay, okay. So, I so mean, you're fine. sensitive I'm, to light. I'm the doctor here, and I'm telling you right now that people mm -hmm. do have light uh, uh, sensitivities, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put their their health at risk. By putting flashing mm. lights, this isn't some sort of techno dance club where you just drop acid and and just blow whistles and and swing around uh, glow sticks. <laughs> well, this is not <laughs> yeah. a joke. Mm. You think you think this is a joke? Uh, yeah, I'm saving it, it lives sounds, here. I'm saving. Right. Mm -hmm. I am saving lives. So, so do you ever naturally tan your sack? Like, uh, I don't know. UV rays a... are very dangerous. Okay. Okay. The, the, so, so why you know, are UVA, UV rays UVB, dangerous? You know, you just got to go straight to the red light. Oh, okay. So you got to, you, you can't blue light it. You can't sunlight no, it. No, no, no. It's like the it. song. Turn on the red light. You know that Can song? You, no, I don't know that song. Can you uh, give us a? Uh, a, a That's preview? all that I remember from the song. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. It goes, well. Turn on the red light. Is that why and you wear those glasses? Every day. Is that why you wear those glasses to protect your eyes? Because obviously, you you know, you you can't protect your nuts. You got to make sure your nuts have yeah, enough yeah. testosterone. Well, see, I got to protect you know, your eyes, right? The, the eye protection. The red, is the red light is direct. You know, for me, it's not so much for the red light on my on my yellow sunglasses. The yellow sunglasses are an anti blue light, an anti beta light. Oh, OK. Uh, so so uh, they block they block the libtard um, uh, uh, testosterone exactly. levels mm -hmm. that make yep, you drop. Yep. It's like uh, it's like in that movie. Uh, they live. He puts on the sunglasses and realizes, oh, the reality that's beyond, you know, and with these sunglasses right here, it helps wake me up to the reality that's around, you know. So the it's mainstream not... media oh. and other places, you know, you got these quack doctors saying you should get a COVID shot. Right. Please. Yeah. So where did you get your degree from, Doc? What 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 um, what level of expertise do you hold? Uh, I got it from Harvard University. Harvard. What was that? Harvard University. Harvard. What What is Harvard? It's like a look. How do you it, how do you spell how do you spell Harvard? I, I, I can't. How do you spell it? H it sounds like you're trying to say Harvard, but you're saying Harvard. It's Harvard. It's a cousin school of Harvard. It's a cousin, huh? Yeah, it's like twice removed, but it's a cousin school. Like this is like cousin school down in Arkansas or something, or I, I'm, I'm, I'm in sure. Alabama. Oh, okay, Alabama. Well, you know, they got a great, 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 great program over there. Uh, at Her Her Harvard. Harvard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Harvard. Harvard University. Yeah. So you know, you not a lot of people know about or, it, but or... uh, we're doing yeah. some very, very innovative uh things down there you know i was very i was down very, there uh, down there down down there yes indeed down there and i was uh very um privileged and grateful to be a part of the program you know i actually graduated uh mm -hmm. top of my class 
Oh, okay. What what do they call that down there at uh, Harvard when you graduate to the top of your class? Is there? Uh, well, they they said it was summa cum laude. Cu summa cum laude. Oh, okay. Well, that's you know. that's what they wrote down on my uh, my uh, diploma. <laughs> summa summa cum laude. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you know that. Uh, <laughs> I guess I guess that could happen down there, Harvard mm -hmm. in Alabama. Uh, so this when are not, you going to make not a joke? It's a real I, place. I know. I, I'm I'm tr I'm I'm trying not you to. Know, I came fun. on the show to yeah. talk about red light therapy. Right. You know, mm -hmm. I figured I would give you uh, I'm, I'm literally giving you a hands on demonstration right now or rather hands off demonstration. OK. Yeah. So have, have you washed your hands this morning? Uh, do you the red do you light? To... Actually, the red light uh, works as a, a sanitization uh, tool. Yeah. Oh, okay. So basically, well, with the red light, you don't have to take showers. So, so let me ask you. Let me ask you, because you know, as a guy who does not red light his balls, I don't tan my balls. I don't. I don't I That's don't do unfortunate. This. That sounds pretty unfortunate for you. Yeah, I, I feel it, sorry it for certainly. You. It certainly is a problem that I don't mm -hmm. have. Um, I'm just thinking though, as I think about the logistics of tanning, you know, a guy's sack. Mm -hmm. Um that you know you would have to do something you know to loop up the the old uh, sausage because there's you know you got um you got a few things going on down there not right, just the right, sex right, so right, i'm trying right. to figure you know, out actually, how this works. i will say you know of all the things you've asked so far that's actually the best uh, actual like question you've had okay so could you elaborate what um what what a guy would do if he was gonna uh, tan right, right. his well, private well i mean here l l l l let's think of it like this you know if you if you were to go out into the sun you know you put sunscreen or uh -huh. suntan lotion you're not just going to go straight skin to the grill you know you're not going to just heat it up and burn yourself because that would just be idiotic and, and not safe now what you got to do is it's a combination between coconut oil okay coconut oil mm -hmm. uh, avocado oil these are two oils that have high burning uh, temperature rates, you know, so you can put them in a high, high degree on the pan. If you want to cook something up, they are, uh, they, you know, they're better than grapeseed oil. They're better than sunflower seed oil. They're better than olive oil. Okay. You want to use a combination of that plus a little bit of a generic Walgreens Lubriderm. It's not Lubriderm. You don't have to go store. You don't have to go name brand. You just have to get a, a generic Walgreens brand. I find that that has the best, uh, lotion to, uh, water viscosity, uh, ratio there now if you were to put all three of those together it's a it's a quick a one 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 ratio okay one to one to one very simple for your viewers out there who want to listen just understand it's very simple you can get it yourself from you know you probably buy all three from a, a walgreens honestly but what you want to do is you want to mix those together you want to put it into the freezer okay and you want to keep that for about 30 minutes now and now you just gotta watch it because there's gonna be a there's gonna be a, a, a top layer that is on the uh, uh, on the top of what you've done. Okay, you want to scrape that off, and that is what you want to use. Mm, so so you want a little bit. It's only a little bit, but remember, it's a combination of of avocado oil, coconut oil, and a store brand lotion, uh, very similar to uh, Lubriderm, but not name brand Lubriderm. Okay. Very so cheap. when you're so when you're when you're toasting your avocados, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, um, do you dip them in the fryer or I'm not real sure. I, I you know it looks like it looks like what you have on your balls is a, is a space heater, not really a uh, infrared. It light. does provide heat. It does keep you warm in cold conditions. You know you know the balls are uh, are one of the areas that actually is very sensitive to temperature and it can actually regulate it your whole body. Be, yeah, mm -hmm. um, right. I I understand most. Most that's most why if you saw in the Tucker Carlson documentary, understand. they were they were completely naked mm -hmm. with only that. With and that only, shows you yeah. how powerful the human body is. You know, if you're straight pushing testosterone into the body, okay, the whole especially through through the through your mid range, uh, you're able to warm up the whole body. It's actually pretty amazing what the body can do from a from a medical standpoint, you know, so scientifically me, speaking. So let me ask you, Dr. Nutsack, let me ask you, um, if this truly is a problem, this low T thing, because mm -hmm. to be honest with you, the Tucker Carlson documentary really seems like uh, just an avenue to make sure that the American people know that, hey, uh, non-experts, you should look at them as experts, kind of like you who got your 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 Cracker Jack degree from Harvard. Um, Harvard University, a great place, yeah, top of my Her class. Harvard, Harvard uh, ball sack red lighting degree. Um, 
I, it seems like the documentary with Tucker Carlson really is just a ruse to uh, not only to, you know, spew out anti-gay hate uh, tropes and hate, um, but to also make it to where people like you seem to be experts but don't know a fucking thing. Is it, is that, Am I right in that alley? Am I, am I probably... Are you claiming that? that this is all just a rouge? Uh, like well, I mean, I don't are, know. Are you, are, you, are you saying that my medical degree from Harvard University and all of the... All of the mm -hmm. testing and, and, and studies mm -hmm. that I've done and actually mm -hmm. sat over on my yeah. own board, mm -hmm. you're saying that this is all just made up. You're saying that I'm just in it for the grift, and that's what Tucker Carlson is doing? Yeah, that's that's exactly what I'm saying. Uh, and I guess my next question would be is when are you booked to go on the Joe Rogan podcast? Because I figure that's probably your next step is to uh, go on Joe well, Rogan. You know, show uh, uh, to answer your first question mm – -hmm. um, I don't want to speak for Tucker. Uh, it seems yeah. pretty genuine. You know, we did. I wouldn't uh, want to it. speak for Tucker or to Tucker either. But yeah, go ahead. Uh, you know, I, I we didn't. Um, what I will say this is uh, we did a, a, a treatment therapy together. OK, mm -hmm. uh, you know, together. You yeah, did. we embraced. It was great. It was wonderful. You know, we had a. See, see, see you tan your balls together. Is that how you do it? I, I don't know. I, uh, well, not... you're uh, what do you think? We're savages. We're using two different. uh lights that are reflecting the opposite way so, oh, so you, know, you stand face to face we're never touching really and you know we're not touching in that way i mean get your mind out of the gutter we I'm are embracing to figure it out wholeheartedly with our arms and our chest oh okay so you are you are uh, touching in, in that sense mm -hmm. oh okay okay so what about my second question is are you going to experiment with joe rogan and what I will him, say or? is uh, on that circuit, there's a lot of people that I'm actually uh, in communication with right now. Joe Rogan is one of the people that I am planning a session to mm -hmm. go uh, on his show. The other is I'm actually talking to a few other people. Uh, Elon Musk, we're, we're talking about adapting a, uh, a testicle tanning feature in the new Tesla model. So wait, wait, wait. Um, it's going to be a Tesla testicle tanning feature is that what mm -hmm. you're saying that's right yeah just testicle making tanning sure in the new tesla tanning. it's a in tesla okay. testicle tanning trademark pending uh we're working okay. together on okay. that okay. well you know. um so basically while you're driving you can be treating uh yourself for low t levels you know we're oh. putting the the t in tesla and now is testosterone so so really <laughs> since you're getting so um intuitive with the uh tes tesla testicle tanner mm -hmm. um how much of a problem is this really and, and really is it only affecting um republican men because it seems like only conservative republican men are really concerned about finding new ways to uh tan their balls so they have um, a higher testosterone level when they could do i i don't know they could uh, take things like testosterone it really seems Kind Look, of we, we've established from the pandemic, uh, mm -hmm. no jab for me. Okay, right. no jab. Just, just avoid it. Just so, you, you want to get away from. So it. even if you knew that it was testosterone in the in, you would not take the no, testosterone. No. You know, because here's the thing: it's like uh, uh, there are rumors. Many people are saying. I don't want to say it's me, or but I will say this: that uh, there are these. You know, they, they talk about with the vaccines, but there are these microchips, these little nanobites that are in there, you know, and they and they uh, basically put themselves in the testosterone. Now, if you were to then go to the doctor and say, hey, listen, I have low T levels. I want to get treated for testosterone. They say, great, let me prick you with the jab. Now, here's the thing that people don't realize. Once they jab you, those little little nanobites, those little 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 microchips that are in there, they're going to turn from testosterone to estrogen. And you're why go why would they turn from testosterone to estrogen? Why would they do that? Because it's all it's all a it's it's all a plan from the from the Democrats, the deep state. They're they're oh, really? they're coming it's, after people. You know, they're Soros trying to, they're trying the to make you submissive. Yeah. And as an alpha male, you have to stand up. You have to tell people who you are and what you stand for. And you say, "I stand for testosterone. I don't stand for that." <laughs> so let me. So if you stand for testosterone, because it sounds like you're really uh, referring to a medical problem, which uh, some men, some men actually uh, uh, have a lower testosterone level as others. And red, and red light is the cure. Remember, red, well, turn okay. on the red light. Yeah, yeah I, I, I know that. I know, you know, the one word, uh, line to that song. That's all that matters. Here's the thing song. is women. You know that women have testosterone, too, right? You know that that's a thing. 
Um, you know what? that they, yeah, women, women actually have a level of testosterone. Did you know that? That it, that, that, that testosterone is just a hormone. Mm. You know that, right? That, no, that's, that, that that's testosterone, not, no. high, higher low levels of testosterone don't keep you, um, I, I don't know, being like a responsible person or a good father or a good partner or, or even <laughs> someone who would love someone. No, else. no, no, no. That's not true. That's not true. Women don't have testosterone. That that's uh, not true. That is not yeah, true. Yeah, I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, see, that's the thing is I, I understand that. That's that not what we learned at Harvard university. Uh, well, I understand that your degree at Harvard did not provide you. I don't know. Like, um, facts but the fact is is that men have estrogen and women have testosterone no, no we don't no yeah, that's only it. the that betas have estrogen real what? men have 100 percent <laughs> testosterone and, and this red light actually pushes the bounds of what's humanly known for mankind and what is possible with testosterone so what would happen what would happen what do you surmise would happen if a woman used this red light on her I don't know. Used it on her lady parts. What do you think would happen? Do you think? Do you think something magical would happen and she, her testosterone levels would increase the testosterone levels that she has? Do you think by tanning her genitals that would happen? Because a lot of women, believe it or not, I don't know if you know this, a lot of women actually tan in a tanning bed, which is not so similar, but kind of similar to you tanning your balls with a red light. You understand that because women do that, they don't get quote unquote manlier you know that right well because they're not using red lights silly they're using yellow lights oh oh so or, so or sometimes they use just uh, uh -huh. blue light that's straight from a fluorescent tube so and that's what makes you know them again Democrats it's, is it's that pushing the estrogen and the beta level man that people are trying to be you know i know Always. i go ahead go ahead no i'm just saying red light is the best you know i'm not saying that red lights matter but they matter Oh, so red lights, red lights matter. They may matter. Oh, Jesus. So, so did I surprise you to, to the fact that women actually have a, a level of testosterone? Yeah, I'm going to dispute body. that fact. I need to see uh, what your research is. Okay. I, I need I, to see I the mean, actual I don't science need behind it. Because that, I'm going to, I'm going to, I can prove you wrong. I can go, I'm going to, I'm going to go right. to back to Harvard University. Uh -huh. I'm going to speak with my actual professors and who is your professor? Them. Who was your professor down there at uh, Harvard University? Did, did oh, what are you name? trying to dox them now? No, no, I'm just, I'm just no, seeing no, if no, there's no, a credible person. I'm not going to this game. I'm not going to play into this game. It sounds like you're trying to get personal information, private information about my professors, and then try to use that in some democratic, liberal, you, you see, manipulative way. If 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 it is really a, a university, then they would probably list on their website. Um, who their professors are. So, I mean, you know, you just use the process of, mm. you know, elimination and you would figure out who the uh, red light testicle. Tanner, well, you know what, um, if people, if people, and, you know, didn't mm. trust me, then, you know, again, why am I in communication with people like Joe Rogan? Yeah. Uh, uh, Elon Musk. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Alex Jones is another At, one. Does Alex Jones tan his nutsack? He's an investor in my company. Oh, okay. So is that why he's filing bankruptcy? Because he kind of it kind of went south with the red nutting thing, the red light nut sack thing. Is that uh, what's going I on? mean, I've received plenty of money from him. Uh, I don't see any financial issues that I know of. I'm not yeah. uh, too privy on the whole bankruptcy situation, right? But I can tell you from my own personal experience, Alex Jones mm -hmm. is a great advocate. You know, he's actually a pretty good affiliate in terms of getting people to sign up. To, to to tan their nut sex. So, um, you know, some other uh, names that come to mind that uh, people like Alex Jones, and they're kind of in the same uh, red light district, as you would put it. Um, is That's probably, it. You know what? That's actually not a bad uh, yeah. label. You know, maybe I should maybe I should make a, yeah, an area where where you come you come and you get treated in the red light district. Huh? I mean, ah, talk yeah. about that. Yeah. that. I think that would I, I think that could For be sure. You know right. what? I'm going to use that. Uh, I'm okay. not going to pay you for the idea, no, but I'm no, going to no, use that's that. That's okay. You can have the idea. Yeah. Come that, to the red light district. Come to the red light district. To get your treatment. Okay. You know? Mm hmm Well, <laughs> so there are a couple other uh, fucks that are uh, that remind me of this red light district. There's a guy named Roger Stone. He's real good friends with oh, Alex Oh, Roger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Roger's a good guy. Yeah. He's is actually, Roger a uh, customer or is he also an investor? He's just a customer. No, player. no, he's uh, not, not an investor, but he's, you know, if I had to put out there a number one customer, mm -hmm. Roger Stone is a, is a great guy. You know, right. I got to so, tell you. 
the T levels on that man are off the chart. Honestly, like we, you know, I, we just did a we just did a, a six month uh, kind of test to see where he was. You know, a test for the test. Mm -hmm. And I got to tell you right now that boy, uh, he was greater than one hundred percent. Didn't think it was possible, but I'm going to be using him for a new case study that I'm going to submit for the uh, approval from Her uh, Harvard University. So, so what you're saying is Roger, Roger fries his stones. Is that what you're saying? Is Roger fries his stones with avocado you know, I oil? I wouldn't say he fries them, but oh, okay. again, you know, I, honestly, Tony, I should be hiring you for my uh, marketing. I, I mean, know. you know, we've got red light district. We've yeah. got uh, Roger you know, fries his stones. stones you know, mm -hmm. not not going to say it's completely accurate, but yeah. I see where you're going with it. Okay. Well, you know, I wasn't really here. I wasn't really bought into you when I first arrived. You know, you seemed mm -hmm. very much like a skeptic. However. I see. I feel like I'm turning you around, you know, yeah, going from absolutely. blue to red. Well, you didn't give me the red pill. You, get, you showed me the red light. So one last person that I'd like to ask about if they're a customer or not, because I'm not sure that they're into the red light thing and tanning their balls. Uh, it's a guy who, who likes spray tan a lot. It really mm. seems like rub on spray tan. I'm wondering if um, if if there's a if, if artificial tanning your balls, if that has the same effect as the red light, which is no effect, probably. Um, on your testosterone levels. So can you spray tan your balls like the Cheeto dust monster Donald Trump would spray tan his face? Is there is there a theory that you have where if you uh, have an artificial tanner on your nutsack, if that would uh, rise No, that'll cause cancer. What would cause cancer? Uh, listen, there's only one way to properly treat testosterone, okay? <laughs> okay. It is the red only light. Only one? So there's, there's only one way. Right. It's the red light. Now, if you're spray tanning, here's the thing. What I will say is... Uh, Donald Trump for, you know, all of the craziness there. Donald Trump's actually a true beta, okay? I'll, oh, I'll, I'll tell you that oh, right okay. now. He's not actually an alpha. You're, you're really putting yourself out there. I saying, am. And, yeah. But you know what? I mean, for the amount of money I've made off this little red light here on people's balls, uh, <laughs> helping them with their testosterone, I've got a whole, whole war chest. But I can tell you this much. That man, Donald Trump, he's a true beta. Oh. And uh, yes, I know there have been rumors of him uh, artificially, you know, treating his mm -hmm. balls with uh, with spray tan. Yeah. And what I can tell you is spraying, you know, red spray paint on your genitals is not the same thing. OK. OK. Now, that's that is what I've heard. Um, you know, I, I, I heard uh, that's what he did. And people uh you know we're asking inquiring me for my medical advice my professional medical advice you know coming to me and saying you know as a student of harvard university you know summa cum laude they want to know um mm -hmm. how to, you know is this the same thing and uh, i know no only an idiot would spray tan uh, spray tan his balls with uh <laughs> with with red uh acrylic spray paint Right. Um, so, mm -hmm. so your balls turn red when you red light them? Because I, I figured it just tan. No, them no, they don't. They don't turn red. That's the thing. You know, I, I, I don't know where uh, Donald Trump got that idea that spray painting was the same effect as this this tan, uh, <laughs> this treatment of testosterone. But I can tell you for a fact, you know, I've seen some photos um, for, you know, people who shall remain unnamed uh, in terms of inquiring about how to deal with this. And I can tell you right now that. Uh, He's, you know, he's trying to fake it. You know, he's uh, the estrogen levels, the beta levels on that man are incredibly high. And uh, I'm sorry to say, but he's not a true alpha. And well, he's definitely not, uh, definitely I, I, not doing what he should be doing. I don't doubt that he's not, he's not an alpha. I, d I don't doubt that he's not a beta. And I think it has nothing to do with what he's spraying on his balls or doing with his balls. I mean, I would say that he's going to get cancer from spraying his balls with red spray paint, but that's, I, hey, listen, right. that's just my medical opinion and my, yeah. well, actually I'm my sure professional your opinion. Yeah. I'm sure your, your medical opinion is worth uh, a lot. Uh, coming from uh, Sue to come loud. Is that what you said? Sue to come loud from Herbert University down in Alabama. Come loud from Herbert University, top of my in class. Alabama. Well, thank you, Dr. Nutsack. We appreciate you joining us today. Is it Dr. Nutsack? Is that is that what you go by? Red Sack it's, or what's the Dr. Newt Sock? Oh, Dr. Newt Sock. Okay, Newt well, sock. Ah, yes, okay, it's, okay. it's uh, it's European. Okay, I got you. So the European uh, fake doctor that got his degree from Harvard University down in Alabama. Real doctor, real device. Summa cum laude. Real results. Um, whose best customers is Alex Jones uh, and Roger Stone and Elon Musk. Thank you, doctor, for joining us. And 
Anytime. Giving us that riveting information on uh, red lighting your balls. Um, I, I wish the best of frying to you, sir. And mm. you have a good day. And let me know Every, if, you're, uh, if your audience wants a discount. Just I, feel free to we, ping we, me. And we, I can no, we, we don't need a promo code. We mm -hmm. don't need a promo code for you the know what? I'll Lights make a new here. one right now. It'll call be Red Light District. If you want to call, if you want to go to drnootsock.com <laughs> slash red dash light, uh, go to that website and enter the discount code. I'll make it right now after I get out this interview. Um, uh, red Light District, you know? And, and, okay. and if anything, yeah. uh, R. L D. Okay. R I'll, do, I'll do a shorter one for you. RLD. Got it. Got it. Thanks doc. Uh, we appreciate you stopping by. We will not have you back. Um, thank you very much. Everyone stick around right after this break. What the fuck is wrong with you people? It's a rhetorical question at best. We'll be right back on the Tony Michaels podcast. Letters from the Trucker Convoy. Dear's Tammy, by the time we reached D.C., we was 50 strong in number. Some patriots ran out of gas along the way. We got plenty of Slim Jims and Skull. Near run out of Natty Light. Hope it don't rain tomorrow so we can circle the city again. Here's Bob. Dear Bob. I'm fixing to send you some more of them Doritos you like, the red bag, not the live, love, and blue one. In your absence, I discovered a rash on my neck, and no, it ain't no hickey, and I ain't even seen my cousin Brody in ages. Stay strong. Wipe your ass at least once a day. Yours, Tammy. Fuck em, fuck em, fuck em, fuck em, fuck em, fuck em. We're back. To the Tony Michaels podcast. Oh, welcome back. Thirty minutes, nutbag talk. You think that'd be enough here on the Tony Michaels podcast? But... Oh, I really want to break down. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor Nutsack. I mean, Newt Sock, Newt Sock. Um. Uh, to, for coming on the show and, and giving us the uh, the breakdown of red lighting your 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 testes seems like a testy festy to me when you're shining a light on your balls I don't know is it really surprising that these these alpha cuck Tucker anti mass types are French frying their nut sacks is it really that surprising it shouldn't be that surprising that this is what they're doing. Now, as uh, everyone knows, uh, <laughs> testicular, testy, testy tanning is trending on uh, Twitter this morning. And the reason why is because of this clip right here. Let me uh, let me make this a little bigger so you can see. Um, uh, this may or may not be the doctor that just came on that was has the uh, degree from Harvard University down in Alabama, uh, where he <laughs> graduated summa cum laude. Let's let's listen to what him and Tucker Carlson talk about French frying, French frying your ball sack. Let's listen. You saw in the clip there, um, if you want to optimize and take it uh, to another level, expose yourself to red light therapy. Oh, yes. Um, and the juve um, that we were using in the documentary. He said the juve. That's the, that's the vernacular, I guess. I don't know. There's a massive amount Which of that. testicle tanning. It's testicle tanning. Which is testicle tanning. Like, literally, when you say it out loud... Tucker, you said it out loud. Here's the Putin propaganda network, right? Abandoning their Putin propaganda to talk about how men aren't manly. I'm going to break down what the fuck that means and what they're trying to say and the tropes they're trying to say. But more importantly, what Fox News and Tucker Carlson are trying to do here, ultimately, to their audience. Testicle tanning, but it's also full body uh, red light therapy. Uh -huh. which has massive amount of benefits. And there's so much data out there. Um, there's so much data out there on the Internet. You know, you just put it up on the Internet and then it's there. The that isn't being picked up on a cover. So obviously half the viewers right now are like, what? That's grotesque. That's crazy. No, not half the viewers. All of them. All of them. But the ones that are already tanning their testicles are going, what in the fuck are you talking about? 
What the fuck are you talking about? Tanning your testicles. Now, here's the thing. A lot of fucking idiots watch this show and we're like, testicle tanning, that makes you more manly? Well, let's, let's tan them up, bros. Jesus Christ. But my view is, okay, testosterone levels will crash and nobody says anything about it. That's crazy. Testosterone level, levels are not crashing. That is such fucking stupid ass bullshit. That's such stupid fucking bullshit. Now, an army, our argument could be made that testosterone levels are lower now for a lot of different reasons, but they're not crashing. This is really dumb. And this is really fucking stupid to think that your testosterone levels are the thing that make you manly. Tucker Carlson and these fucking alpha cuck types are fucking stupid. Your testosterone levels and how much you can lift at the gym has nothing to do with you being manly. Go ask anyone who knows anything about being attracted to a manly man, okay? It has nothing to do with it. Not a goddamn thing. This is all a fucking trope of gay men can't be manly and manly men can't be gay. If you're insecure about your sexuality and your homosexual tendencies out there, this is Tucker Carlson speaking to his listeners. If you are insecure about your sexuality and your homosexual tendencies, my audience, have no fear. Because if you're a manly man and you tan your balls, then you must not be gay. So don't listen to those little whispers inside your head. This is all really fucking stupid. This is the same nonsense and the same dribble where fucking men get their fucking butt hurt because a trans woman goes into a bathroom to take a leak. They're so fucking obsessed, obsessed with genitalia. It's fucking weird and gross. But the reason why is it's because of their insecurities they're, and they're terrified of sexuality, terrified of sexuality. But it's because of their insecurities of their homosexual tendencies. Here's what I'm talking about. You want to know what I'm talking about? Dude goes to a gym, sees a bunch of other dudes lifting weights, sweaty, muscular, really pumping the iron, right? Oh, man, I want to look like him. He's sexy. Deep down inside, he says, whoa, that must be that must be a homosexual tendency. So they get a little frightened, right? They get frightened because they're terrified of sexuality. The other thing is they're terrified of someone knowing that they might find a dude sexy. My God, his body's sexy. And that makes them gay. And the only way to not be gay is to have more testosterone. It's all a fucking trope. The whole fucking show, the whole fucking thing, it's a trope. That if you're a manly man, you can't be gay. And if you're gay, you can't be a manly man. It's really fucking dumb. It's really fucking dumb. Because here's the, here's the bottom line. That Tucker Carlson, Tucker Carlson couldn't handle a manly man. He couldn't because he's a little whiny bitch. Tucker Carlson is. And all this is, is more bullshit to spew to their audience to do the whole Tucker Carlson's trying to out Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan here. To make it to where non-experts who don't know what the fuck they're talking about, who have no idea what they're saying, and don't give a shit about actual study and actual science to try to prove something is or isn't true. To just spew their garbage and make them into experts. Just like Joe Rogan does on his show. It's the same fucking stupid shit. Anti-mask, anti -mask, anti-vax type shit. Same motherfuckers. Same motherfuckers. Oh, you get... Well, fuck, if you just exercise... Then you'll, you'll fend off disease. Well, being healthy helps if you get a disease. But being healthy doesn't prevent you from getting a disease, you dumb motherfuckers. Being healthy doesn't prevent your testosterone levels from dropping. There's a whole hell of a host of reasons why a dude's testosterone levels would drop. And the best solution, I'm not a doctor. I'm not. But I would go seek advice to a doctor who knows something about testosterone before you start French frying your nutsack. And really, honestly, I bet the doctor's going to prescribe you, I don't know, if you have low T, testosterone. It really is fucking dumb. 
But the point of all this, this whole documentary, all this shit, is just, just an anti-gay trope. That if you're gay, you're not manly. And trust me, manly men out there, don't just ignore your homosexual tendencies because if you're manly, you must not be gay. Really is. More of them trudging out of their anti-LGBTQ agenda. I hate gay people. I don't want gay people. And they're terrified. Terrified of their own homosexual tendencies. Terrified of them. Can't get past them. Um, there was some more video from the uh, Tucker Carlson documentary. Let's see if we can uh, pull it up here. Because uh, there's some other bullshit that they're talking about. And again, it's more proof that uh, that uh, um, Tucker Carlson is trying to out Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan. Here is the opening scene. From the uh, here's the trailer from the Tucker Carlson uh, gay porn ad um, Viagra ad, and I, I don't know what the fuck this is. You talk about people really uh, getting entrenched in their insecurities of their homosexual tendencies. Watch this. This this is the uh, this is the part where the guy was talking about uh, the the well, I don't know what the hell he called it the jube the jube or some shit. This is where they're actually redlining their balls. You see this dude standing here naked uh, with the red line on his nutsack. Now again, I'm just telling you if you don't know anything about the male genitalia, there's this thing that hangs over. And really honestly, if you're gonna really red light your nutsack, my I, I'm just I'm just saying. You know, just saying. You tuck up the sausage is what I'm saying. Once a society collapses, then you're in hard times. Well, hard iron sharpens iron, as they say. And those hard times inevitably produce men who are tough, men who are resourceful, men who are strong enough to survive. This is really stupid. This is really stupid. Really fucking stupid. Okay, let's let's go. I I want to show you another video. That's the trailer here, but um, um, let's see if there's the video. Um, the other two bearded guys talking about butchering animals and how aliens. I'm not shitting you. They went into extraterrestrials, aliens. They were talking about fucking aliens. This is not made up. Uh, let me see if I can find it here. Of course. It's not going to be easy to find because it's buried. Great. Well, you're just going to have to believe me on this one. There was two guys called the Bearded Butchers on this show, and they were giving their expert advice on how butchering animals were extraterrestrials, butchering animals or some dumb shit. I don't know. Okay, let's go to the trendy trends and tweety tweets. I want to get back to the uh, the Alex Jones um um, before we before we kick out here, we're 15 minutes into the second hour. I don't want to miss this. This is not. This is not. Um. A a uh, headline that we should miss. Radio host Alex Jones' company Infowar files for bankruptcy following lawsuits by parents killed in the Sandy Hook shooting. Now, um, as you know, the. Sandy Hook parents have won their lawsuit, their defamation lawsuit against Alex Jones and Infowars. They're going to have to, he's going to have to pay up. The court's going to order him to pay. Now, what Alex Jones is doing here is Alex Jones is using Chapter 11 laws in the state of Texas to try to fend off this debtor to restructure. Okay, so what happens with with the businesses and rich people? The privilege that they get, it is a privilege if you don't, if you out there don't know you have it, here's what here's what's here's what's happening. Because a lot of people are saying that um, Alex Jones is pretending to be broke, which that's essentially kind of what Chapter Eleven is. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a bankruptcy lawyer. I'm not an accountant. But when you go file Chapter Eleven, it's to it's to make sure you keep your company, the thing that is making you profit, right? 
And your your argument to the court is, hey, judge, if you make me pay this entire debt, which would be the lawsuit, if you make me pay this entire debt, then I will be broke. We will not we will be bankrupt. We will not be able to survive, which fuck him. That's the way it should be. But he's filing Chapter 11. So what he's asking the court to do is to legally restructure the debt. So he has to pay it over a certain period of time based on the profit that his company would have. That's what's happening. So in other words, Alex Jones is not saying his his company is bankrupt. He's saying if he has to pay the debt of the lawsuit that was won by the parents of Sandy Hook, he would be bankrupt. That debt would bankrupt him. So he's asking the court to restructure that debt so that his business, InfoWars and a couple other businesses, can stay in operation. And that's the bullshit thing here, really. And, uh, you know, honestly, the the Sandy Hook parents, I think, could probably give a shit less about the money. I don't think this, this whole thing with the defamation had nothing to do with the money. They could give a fuck less about the money. But at the point of... uh, of trying to damage Alex Jones for the defamation that he um, so ensued on them. And they had to incur the defamation for years that the Sandy Hook shooting was staged and all this nonsense after their children was killed. Because I I would doubt that any amount of money, any amount of money would be sufficient for those parents in this situation where their children were fucking slaughtered by a, by a person who got their hands on a semi-automatic rifle and mowed them down. I would highly doubt that any amount of money would satisfy them at this point. And it doesn't matter who the fucking money would come from. I would say that they would not be happy with with any amount of money. But having said that, um, I think the goal here is to punish Alex Jones and to punish InfoWars for what they did. Not 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 by causing Sandy Hook, but but causing them more heartache and more grief and more personal injury throughout the years, propagating the lie that Sandy Hook was somehow staged. So the only way to punish Alex Jones or Infowars is to take him to court and punish them financially. And use the courts and some sort of decision to do that. I don't fucking blame him. And I would keep going after him and, until his company's gone. But just like those Sandy Hook parents are using the courts uh, to try to punish Alex Jones for what they what he has done to them by defaming them and slandering them and causing their heartache and pain and suffering to continue by having his fans continually barrage them with bullshit because of his fucking lies. Now, Alex Jones is using the court in the same way to try to save his ass. I don't know if it's right, wrong, or indifferent, but it's a privilege that is awarded to rich people, corporations, and white folk in this country. So if you want to know the full truth and nothing but the truth, here it is. Alex Jones and InfoWars are despicable, vile pieces of fucking shit. And in this country... People should be smart enough to know that that freedom of speech that he propagates over there on InfoWars is a bunch of goddamn horse shit. But we're not smart enough. We're not educated enough. We're not. We're just not. We're just not there in this country, in this time, in this place. Because of that, Alex Jones continues to propagate and profit off his nonsense. And because he continues to profit off his nonsense and he makes bucket loads of money from these fucking fools who believe this garbage. He's going to try to file Chapter 11 and and protect his profit machine that is InfoWars. And he's going to try to restructure the debt to where he can continue in operation with InfoWars and whatever the companies he has and still comply with the lawsuit. And the debt, as it were, for the payment that he has been ordered to pay the Sandy Hook parents. 
So, if, if you're wondering why Alex Jones is doing this, it's not because he is broke. It's because he would be if he had to pay this court order payment. But in this country, in this great country of capitalism and America, the privilege that is awarded to rich folk, rich white folk, especially in Texas, they can fire Chapter 11 bankruptcy and structure their debt to where they can remain profitable. You guys, it's not because. It's not because he sells a product. It's because people buy his bullshit. The problem is not Alex Jones. The problem is not freedom of speech. The problem is the American public is fucking dumb. They're fucking dumb. We have to get, we have to get better at education. And the right wing knows this. And they're taking advantage of it. Jesus Christ, they're banning math in Florida. They're banning math because critical race theory, you know. Critical race theory, they're going to make your white children feel guilty about their arithmetic. I don't know. I don't. I can't understand how this even fucking makes sense. I don't know if they're like, two black people plus two black people is the four black people. That's critical race theory. I don't know how they're even get, getting to this point. But they're trying to ban arithmetic, folks. The reason why... It's because they want this man, Alex Jones, to be the smartest guy in the room. So should you be pissed off this morning about the bankruptcy of InfoWars? Certainly you should be pissed off that Alex Jones has the ability to use the court to continue to propagate his lies and use his privilege to do so. Certainly you should be pissed off. But let me tell you something about him filing bankruptcy. Alex Jones' only choice to stay profitable is to file bankruptcy. He's pretending to be broke. So that way a judge will grant him the right to continue his profiteering off his propaganda. Now, whether a judge grants that or not, that's up to a judge. Whether a judge will restructure his debt or not, that's up to a judge. The judge could tell him to go fuck himself. That you cannot restructure this debt into Chapter 11. It is a court system, folks. So it's not like you just get to fill out a little paper and all of a sudden you're bankrupt and you get to restructure your debt. A judge gets to decide. And a judge could decide to make him fucking squeeze him so goddamn hard that there's barely enough profit to even live off of. So we'll see. We'll see what comes out of the bankruptcy court. We'll find out. As Alex Jones and InfoWars hopefully is broken to oblivion. Nothing better for this country. Okay, let's go back to the trendy trends and the tweety tweets. Now we know, uh, let's see here, uh, as a German is uh, trending. And the reason why is because this person here... Um, Looks like a resistor tweeted a photo of Kyle Rittenhouse, the murderer that he is right before he committed the murders. As a German, I never understood how the earth, how on earth this kid could walk around on open street with a gun. Because in, in Germany, you can't do that, by the way. Um, but it really pissed off the right wing. They're fucking infuriated. As a German, as a German, as a German. Oh, don't say as a German. They're pissed off about this. You should go in this thread and read this thread. And we're 25 minutes in the hour. I have several things I want to get to, to here, so we won't be able to go into that thread. But you really should go into that thread and uh, check that out. Uh, Common Core. Here is the um, here's Governor, the the bigoted Nazi down in uh, uh, Florida, trying to ban trying to ban arithmetic. Florida officials have blocked 54 math textbooks from K-12 curriculum, claiming some of them contain critical race theory. Oh my God! I I, I don't I don't get how people aren't fucking understanding that they're not going to stop. They're not going to stop with this shit. They're not going to quit, folks. Oh well, they're just going to do the CRT thing when it comes to history. 
Ah, well, they're just going to take women's liberty away. They're not actually going to take away other people. Oh, they're going to take LGBTQ uh, people's liberty away, too. Oh, okay. Oh, they want to take black people's liberty away? Oh, okay. They take away the right to vote? Oh, okay. Well, you know, they won't come for me. They won't come for me. They're coming for you. They're coming for your children. They want full consent over your children. They want full consent. They want full consent over their education. They want to marry your children. Doubt me. Passing laws to ban math because of critical race theory? They really are off the fucking rails, folks. But this is what fascism does. They're really fucking desperate here. They're extremely desperate. People aren't canceling their Disney Plus subscriptions. It's a problem that they see. The rejected titles make up a record 41% of books submitted for review. Jesus Christ. NPR is reporting here. 54 math books. 50 fucking four. A war on arithmetic. It really is getting ridiculous. And of course, um, Common Core is is um, <laughs> is trending. Maybe that's how they're calling this critical race theory. I have no idea. I have no idea why they're calling this that, that arithmetic has anything to do with critical race theory. Let's see what U.S. Singers has to say. USA Singers has to say. Republicans hate cancel culture except for Common Core math. History, science, books, teachers, schools, voting rights, Disney, Sesame Street, Dr. Seuss, Mr. Potato Head, women's rights, the LGBT community, truth, justice, diversity, separation of church and state, and democracy. They hate cancel culture, all but those things that are actual cancel culture. Mm. Who wants to hear? Let's see if we can find. Is there an explanation on video of this? Like someone actually standing up and explaining this shit? Of how fucking math, common core math, is somehow tied to critical race theory. Do we yet have video? Let's go to videos here. Let's see. Is there yet video of Ron DeSantis trying to explain to us how critical race theory has anything to do with math? Let's see. I don't see one. Not, you know, I guess that's indicative of, of this charade that they're putting on is that they can't even get in front of a camera and let folks know down in Florida why math why math is racist oh Jesus we really we really are and I don't know if it's because maybe it's because common core um was put into place by Obama maybe that's why it's critical race theory I don't know <sighs> Everyone, everyone thinks that it's that liberals and people on the left are way out of control when they're talking about oh, critical race theories voodoo. If you didn't realize that it was voodoo before, you should realize that it's now. And I don't know why we can't get our fucking act together and all get on the same page about trying to tell parents about critical race theory and how it's all bullshit. It has been, will be, always will be bullshit when it comes to your fucking kindergartners. And by the way, not not being able to say gay in an elementary school is also detrimental to your kindergartners. That's right. It's detrimental. Common core. Cancel culture against common core math. This is where we're at. Let's see. What else do we have trending? Is there anything new trending? Everyone's wanting me to play a video in the chat. What video do you want me to play? Oh, I see. They want the Alex Jones video. All right. All right. All right. Hang on a second. Let's let's um, let's get the Alex Jones. Everyone wants the Alex Jones video to come up here. You ready? Here it is. I've had enough of these people. 
Little bones of Christian mother of scum, Lemon giant death factories keeping babies alive. You said in that body part, what more do you need to know about these people? I go out and face this scum. They literally crawl out from under eyes. They have green looking skin and they run around screaming, We love Satan, we wanna eat babies. I have them on video. Hillary's in the creepy weird six stuff, man. Okay, so I, I I know you don't want me to stop this right in the middle of this great song, but here's the thing. Here's the thing about this. Don't you see the projection here? Don't you see it? I, I don't understand how, how people haven't seen the projection from the right here. Yeah, let's continue. She sleeps in the same room with that creepy weird old woman whose mother wears a hood over her head. That woman number one is ugly. Imagine how bad she smells, man. I'm told her and Obama just stink. Obama and Hillary both smell like sulfur. In a room, vampire pot, and the goblins are hobbling around, coming after <laughs> us. Oh my, my spirit God. gets close to that evil, and I feel it go. Ah, ah, ah. We're such self centered crap, we don't even know this hand itself rising up against the millions of poor people of the very worst I've been. I'm so pissed. We're gonna stare your daughter at the mall. We're gonna stare your wife, your son. We're gonna stab you with a butcher knife. And then the police chief is gonna say, We love our Somalis. We love our Muslims. Oh, well, thank you very much for making me. <laughs> I'm sure everyone's just, uh... oh, my God. Oh, for crying out loud. No. <laughs> Let's get back to regular business here. <laughs> ah, thank you, Robin, for. Um, oh, my God. Oh, shit. Okay, well, um, that is a great song. Um, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, Chris says, what the fuck was that? Here's here's what that was. Those are actual words that, that Alex Jones said into a microphone. They were just put to a, a great song. So all those words that you heard, that was a song. Um, the lyrics were written by Alex Jones of the crazy shit that he says into a microphone. And we're standing around wondering why they're banning math books down in Florida. They think there's lizard people out there who are propagating common core on your children to make sure that critical race theory makes white white children feel guilty. I don't fucking know. If you figure it out, email me. Fuck. And Christ, these people are still searching for Hunter Biden's laptop when Jared Kushner takes $2 billion from Prince Bonesaw over in Saudi Arabia. You make it make fucking sense with these Hunter Biden laptop Nazis. I don't know what to tell you. It's a QAnon world out there. We're just fucking living in it, folks. And that's why, that's why we have to get our messaging straight. We're not going to be able to talk these people down from the QAnon ledge. You're not. You're not going to be able to talk them down from the QAnon ledge. But people out there who are concerned about shit, you got to convince them that these crazy fucks that are standing up on the QAnon ledge, you want the people trying to marry your children and ban their fucking math test? Do you want those people controlling your gas prices? Do you want them to control your health benefits? Do you want these people really passing legislation in your state to help you not to vote? Is that what you want? You want these fascists who were banning math in Florida. They're banning math books, folks. They're banning arithmetic in Florida. It's absolutely fucking ridiculous. 
Texas is trying out Florida, Florida. Florida's trying out Texas, Texas. And Tennessee's standing back saying, hold my beer, we're going to marry children. I want to show you a video, speaking of um, bigoted fucking laws. I want to show you a video here. Let me find it here. Of a lawmaker in my great state of Missouri. You guys seen it go viral over the weekend. His name is Ian Mackey. Uh, Missouri's trying to do the fucking bigoted laws just like everywhere else in the country. Yes, that's right. Missouri is trying to out Florida, Florida, and trying to out Texas, Texas, too. It's happening here, just like it's happening in all these other red states. Uh, you've seen you've seen also over the weekend, um, Kay Ivey down in Alabama uh, with her uh, with her fucking uh, campaign ads. It's fucking gross, but that's what they're doing. Uh, do, do, do. I'm still looking for it here. Give me just a second. I will find this video. It is uh, absolutely fantastic what Ian Mackey does. Here we go. Again, um, in, the state of, in the state of Missouri, the Missouri Republicans, the pedocon kid diddlers, are trying to take consent away from parents about their children by doing it through a trans athlete bill. Literally, this affects maybe, maybe three or four children in the entire state of Missouri. This bill. that They're spending their time in the Missouri legislature legislating three people in the entire fucking state. But that's not what they're actually legislating, folks. You have to take them at face value. They want to gradually take your consent away from you and give it to the state for your children and their bodies. They want their minds, they want their bodies so they can marry them. I'm not fucking shitting you. This is fucking real. Yeah, oh, Tony, it has to do with men and women's sports. No, it does not. There are not men in women's sports. They're trying to prevent a couple people in the state, children. They're trying to prevent a couple children in the state to participate in sports is what they're trying to do with these bills. The ultimate thing that they're trying to do is take away consent away from the parents and giving it to the state. You know, the old big government trope, the old big government bullshit. That's what they're trying to do. It has nothing to do with sports. It has nothing to do with girls' sports. It has not a goddamn thing to do with men in girls' sports. They want to take your consent as the state. Because when they develop this fascist state, when they do take over, this is their thinking. When we do take over, we want to make sure the state has as much power as we possibly can to create a handmaid's tale. We want to make sure women have no liberty. Don't doubt me. You think they're just going to stop at your fucking uterus? They're going to take your fucking boat away, too. You watch. Hide and watch. They're going to start passing laws to take away your right to vote because you're a woman. Doubt me. Do it. I dare you. I dare you to not participate in our democracy. I dare you to not know what these fucking fascists are trying to do. This bill in Missouri has nothing to do about trans athletes in Missouri. Not a goddamn thing. It has to do with taking parents' consent away from them about their children. And Ian Mackey here, a representative from the state of Missouri, is having fucking none of it. Listen to what he has to say. Do you remember your remarks on the floor last year when you brought this up? Um, it would, you'd have to give me a specific. I mean, I made a lot of remarks last sure. year. So I recall a story you told about your brother. Okay. And I remember you said that your brother called, or that your mother called you, I believe, to tell you that your brother had some news that he was afraid to tell you. Okay. And your brother... Wanted to tell you that he was gay, didn't he? Um, he was uh, expressing that to the family, and he thought that uh, that we would hold that against him and not let my children be around him. Why do you think he thought that? I, I don't know. I, it, uh, it never would have happened, I'll tell you that. 
my uh, my my kids at that that point in their life adored my uh, my brother. Can I tell you if I were your brother, I would have been afraid to tell you too. Well, I'm sorry. I would have been afraid to tell you too because of stuff like this. Because this is what you're focused on. This is the legislation you want to put forward. This is what consumes your time. I would have been afraid to tell you too. I was afraid of people like you growing up, and I grew up in Hickory County, Missouri. I grew up in a school district that would vote tomorrow to put this in place. And for 18 years, I walked around with nice people like you who took me to ball games, who told me how smart I was, and who went to the ballot and voted for crap like this. And I couldn't wait to get out. I couldn't wait to move to a part of our state that would reject this stuff in a minute. I couldn't wait. And thank God I made it. Thank God I made it out. And I think every day of the kids who are still there, who haven't made it out, who haven't escaped from this kind of bigotry. I want you to listen very carefully to what Ian Mackey says here at the end. Pay a lot of attention to what he says. This is very fucking important to all you pro-democracy people out there. Understand what he's saying. Listen. Gentlemen, I'm not afraid of you anymore because you're going to lose. You may win this today, but you're going to lose. That's very important at the end. Well, I'm not afraid of you anymore. Not fucking afraid of you anymore. We know who you are. You're saying the quiet part out loud. You are fucking bigots. You're racist. You're privileged white men who want power and power alone. Not just, not just power, but power over women, power over people, power over children, power over the others, because you are fascist. And as Ian Mackey says, you may win this right here. You may win this little fight that you want to fight right here and right now. But in the end, in the end, fascism will lose. You're being exposed for who you are. We know who you are, and we're not afraid of you. And that is the messaging that Democrats need to carry around the entire country. Give me a fucking break about this canceling student debt shit. Give me a fucking break about worrying about the January 6th Select Committee and what Merrick Garland's doing. There are fascists everywhere in your state legislature in your city council, in your county commission, sitting at sitting in the United States House of Representatives and in the United States Senate who want to take away your liberty, who want to take away your democracy. Full stop. Ian Mackey here is a hero for standing up and saying what he said. He's a fucking hero. And we should praise him and play this video. This video has 5.2 million views right here on Twitter. You can see it here. It's from the Missouri House Democratic Caucus. 5.2 million views. This video should have a billion views. Any person who believes that our country is still a democracy and who still wants our country to be a democracy should watch this video and watch Ian Mackey destroy fascism in a matter of two minutes and why it is so important that we must not look away. I say that so many times here on this show. We cannot. We cannot look away, folks. You can't just bury your head in the sand while they take women's liberty away from them. Today it's their body, tomorrow it's their vote. You can't just stand by and let them take the black community's vote away from them in these states strategically. We cannot. We can't just forget about it. We cannot stand by while these fascists try to take away consent 
from parents of their children. We cannot just stand by. This is the hill they want to die on. They want to die on the hill of fascism, folks. That's where they that's where they're going to fight. They're going to fight to ostracize the LGBT community. They're going to fight to ban your kids' math books because it educates them. They want to sexualize your kids' gender in schools. They want to marry your children. If you're not paying attention, there are bills all around the country sprouting up in the guise of anti-gay marriage bills and making it to where there's no age limit to where white men can marry your little girls. And don't get it twisted. That's what they're doing. You think we're not two fucking steps away from Handmaid's Tale? That's what they want. That's what they want. Today, they don't want you reading about real history. Because it, it, might, it might make white parents feel guilty. Tomorrow, they don't want you to learn arithmetic. That way you can't count how many kids you got left. Because the white dude down the street who has all the power has married them all. It's not complicated, folks. It's not complicated. How we win the 2022 midterms. I don't sit here every day for two hours. Noon Eastern, 11 Central, 9 Pacific on YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch. And now on the Facebook page of Midas Touch. I don't sit here for two hours yelling into this microphone for no goddamn reason. The reason is to give you the messaging. The reason is to give you the way to go out there and talk to your community members. Talk to your brothers, your sisters, the people at your church, the people at your school. Folks, not a goddamn person that you interact with at your school understands that in Florida, they're trying to ban arithmetic. They don't understand it. They don't get it. They're worried about the baseball score this afternoon. They're worried about who's going to play on this football team next season. Who signed what contract? They're worried about the reality show on Thursday. Who's going to win? Who's getting voted off the island? There are single moms out there that have three kids and two jobs. And trying to find a third one to keep her family fed. You think she has time? You think she has time to pay attention to politics in this country? Do you think? We have to get our messaging straight. And we can win 2022, folks. Oh, my God, can we win it? They want to fight the culture wars? You think people, you think the marginal vote, the generic ballot, as it were. You guys know we have Rachel Bittacoffer on here, a political strategist, and she talks about the generic ballot, which everyone sees as moderates or the independent vote. But really, it's people who don't know much about politics but do vote. That generic ballot is the ballot that always swings. And they swing based on what is the forefront of their minds. What's at the forefront? What in politics concerns them on the generic ballot? And who is the person and who is the party that most scares the ever-loving bejesus out of them? You go and you look at any Republican ad right now. Go look at any of them. I don't care which one you look at. Every single one of them are talking about how liberals are going to teach your kids CRT. How, how men are going to participate in women's sports. They're not fighting each other, folks. They're not running ads against each other. They're running ads against this fake, deep state, radical socialist commie nonsense. This QAnon nonsense. And it's a winning strategy. It's a winning strategy. If it doesn't terrify the absolute fucking shit out of you, it should. It should. 
That's the strategy that they're going to use. And it works. It fucking works. Do you know what doesn't work? Do you know what doesn't work? Talking about canceling student debt. That's not going to work. You think a bunch of people who were on the generic ballot are going to go, oh my God, they're trying to destroy my kid's education. But there's this guy over here that wants to, you know, cancel student debt. Oh, uh, well, you know, I'll vote for, no, they're not, nope, nope. We got to tell them the truth about what they're actually trying to do to your children. We got to tell them the truth, what they're trying to do to your liberty. That's what we have to do. We can we can handle the student debt thing as long as they're not in power. You think the people who are banning arithmetic in Florida are going to be for canceling student debt? You won't even have a university to go to. They don't even want schools. They want indoctrination centers. They want re-education camps, folks. You think you're going to have student debt when these fascists take over? <laughs> uh, you're not going to be getting educated. You're going to be getting indoctrinated when these fascists take over. That's the whole point. Doubt me. Hmm. Uh, the representative that um, ended up <laughs> and Ian Mackey here shit all over. Um, he did have a response. Let's see if I can if I can pull it up real quick. What his response on like Twitter or something was. Um, I don't know if anyone posted it here. Mm, I don't have it handy. He basically said Ian Mackey made a fool out of me, and I'm I'm really upset that he did that. I'm really upset that he made a fool out of me, and I'm pissed off. I'm really pissed off, and I got a really st a bunch of stupid fucking comments from a bunch of fucking uh, white dudes like, oh. Ian Mackey being upset because he's gay has nothing to do with what this bill is. This bill is trying to prevent men from playing in women's sports. That's not it at all. It's preventing children from participating in activities at school and making it to where schools can be bigoted and be bigoted against kids who want to participate in sports. It's really fucking dumb. They're children. They're fucking children. They're not professional athletes. They're not doing this for profit. It's fucking children. Um, let's see if I can find the... Oh, you know what? Speaking of Rachel Bittigover, she was on uh, Joy Ann Reed's show, and she's talking about what I was just talking about. Listen, listen to what Rachel says here about the 15-week abortion ban. Speaking, speaking of cancel culture in Florida and that Nazi bigot, Ron DeSantis... He wants to take away women's right to choose too. Ah, who would have thought it? I bet I bet his next his his next mission is to take away their right to vote. So that way they can't vote him out. Let's see what Rachel has to say. Let me ask you a question because it's all cool until the bodies start being shown. And I, I worked in local news. You have some teenage rape victims that are dying because they tried to get you do a self abortion, you know, and take too many of whatever the pills are. They get under do that underground and refuse to go to the clinic because it's illegal and they're scared. It's all cool until people start dying. And good luck trying to hide that. Ask Vladimir Putin how that works out. I want to ask you, Rachel Bittercoffer, whether or not this has been a good issue because abortion was legal. Now that right. it's going to be illegal across these red states, what happens? Because white women, let's just be clear, have voted majority Republican since the 1960s. It's been very solid, even when there's a woman on the ballot often, right? But what happens to that vote? Do you see that vote starting to get shaky when their daughters are the ones who are in the crosshairs of this? When their sisters, do you see them moving somewhat off the team if you start yeah. to see this, the, de the the bodies, the people starting to yeah, die I mean, or suffer. And you don't even need to wait till that moment happens, right? Because here's the thing, abortion politics over the course of the 90s through the 2000s, it benefited them. They coined, I mean, they're so good at rhetoric, right? And they coined the pro-life movement. That really started to define abortion. You saw a small erosion in access support from that effort, right? But you know, now the politics are the opposite. We're under a five alarm fire. 
there's no need to wait until somebody actually dies. What you have to do is paint a picture for the electorate of what's coming. And especially in these, like, I mean, there's a lot of different targets and, and ads that should go out to this community, uh, to people who would be sensitive to this. But the one that I really want to see run is in suburban America, letting these mothers know of all races, white women and all, um, what will happen if they try to outsource an abortion out of state. They are going to jail. That is what these laws are adding in provisions Correct. so that it is true it will be an equitable poor people always suffer from restriction to abortion um but at the end of the day their the, their goal is to is to control women right and they're yes. not leaving a loophole for white educated suburbanites that's correct they're going to they want to control all women and that is that's the that's the main point there that they want to control all women they want to control their bodies they want to control what states they go to they're going to come after your vote that's what's next. Because they don't want you to vote them out. You say, oh, Tony, that's ridiculous. You're being you're being way out of hand. Oh, come on. It can't be that bad. Bull fucking shit, it can't. They're doing it. They're doing it in Georgia. They're doing it in Texas. They're gerrymandering all over the place to take people of color's vote away from them. You don't think they'll come for the women's vote too? Come on. Come on. They know they can't get rid of abortion. Abortion isn't a thing you get rid of. Abortion is a thing you criminalize. You make you make poor women into felons. Because let's face it, abortion's never been illegal for rich people in this country. Never. Never. Abortion has never... Listen to what I say. Abortion has never been illegal for rich people in this country. Rich people can afford abortions and they can afford to hide it. And that will be the case when you don't make it the ability for women to have their liberty and make their own medical decisions about their fucking bodies. And dudes out there. Hey, you dudes out there. You fucking dudes out there. They're coming for you next, you dumb motherfucker. If you think... If you think these fascists are going to stop at women and people of color and the LGBTQ community, you are a dumb son of a bitch. Tucker Carlson has got the writing all over the wall. There is going to be a testosterone borderline that they're going to have. You don't think? You don't think Tucker Carlson isn't going to float in the next couple months? Maybe we should have a testosterone test to see who's liberal and not. That's what they're saying. That's that's what they're saying. That's all the nonsense that they're spewing. That's how fascism works. That's how it takes hold. Little by little by little by little by little. They take women's liberty away here. They take LGBT communities liberty away there. They take the trans children's uh, uh, liberty here. They take the parents' consent from from their from their children's gender identity here they sexualize your kids gender in kindergarten here and then they want to marry him here in tennessee and then they might want to marry him in missouri and then they take your consent away from you to let let rich powerful white men marry your children they take over your state here they take over your state there i'm telling you folks pay the fuck attention and get the messaging right. Get the messaging right. Tell your people in your community, at your churches, your schools, your community centers, your fucking grocery store for crying out loud. Just ask. Just ask. The next time you go in a grocery store, ask the person checking out groceries. Just ask them this question. Did you hear they're banning math in Florida? Just ask them that question. Real simple. Did you hear... Did you hear that they're banning math in Florida? And just see what they say. They're going to say, no, I hadn't heard that. What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? They're trying to ban math? Why is that? Why are they trying to ban math? That's what they're going to say. And that's when you got to have, you got to have it queued up. Because the fascists like Ron DeSantis and the Republicans not only want to ban math, they want to ban school altogether. They don't want your kids to be educated. They want to send them in indoctrination camps where they can marry them once they're done at 12. 
I mean, your daughters, <laughs> they're not going to marry men off to grown women. They're not going to marry little boys off to, to grown women. They don't want to, you know, take away that little boy's manhood for him to grow up to be a man to mar marry a little 12-year-old boy, girl again. These fucks, sick motherfuckers.